Mrs. Mulchaney here. Welcome to your next video for today. So we are going to go over percent grids in this video. And a percent grid is a picture that shows a part to whole relationship as a fraction or a percentage. So the part, just like a fraction, the part goes on the top and the whole goes on the bottom. And for the sake of percent grids, just like we did when we did simplifying fractions, we're gonna talk about the shaded part on the top or the colored, and the bottom is gonna be the unshaded. And remember, if you need to pause so that you can write in my notes before I start talking, make sure that you pause me, write everything in, skip the same amount of lines that I skip, write the problems the way that I write them, and you'll be ready to go. And that way you can listen to me actually do the lesson instead of trying to rush and write in all of your notes. Okay, so we talked about what a percent grid is. It shows a part to whole relationship. Now, a percent is actually a fraction. Even though it's written with that fancy percent sign that looks like this, a percent actually shows a fraction. It is a fraction with the denominator of 100. So an example of that would be, if I did 28 over 100, this is equivalent to, or equal to 28%. They mean the same thing. Okay. Now there is a fancy way, I think it's fancy, to remember that a percent is out of 100. So you can think of it as the percent sign. Um, if rearranged, looks like the number 100. So if you take the little bar that's there, it becomes the one and then the two zeros actually become the two zeros and 100. So that's an easy way for you to remember that a percent is always going to be out of 100. All right, you still have some room at the bottom of your page, but I have to turn because I ran out of space. All right, so we're going to solve a percent grid and you're going to need your uh, colored pencils for this lesson. And we're going to start by drawing a hundred grid. Now I know that's something that you, you usually are just given, but we need to practice drawing it for ourselves. So what I did was, first thing I have to root my title. The next thing I did was I numbered down just really little, it doesn't have to be big, just down to 10. That way I know, because whenever I draw a 10, 100 grid, I'm gonna go 10 lines down and 10 spaces across. So I'm going to just draw a big square. And if you wanna get a ruler for this, you're welcome to, but it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. Okay. So there's my square and it's 10 lines down. So now I need to make 10 lines across. And 10 is an even number, so I'm going to start by cutting it in half. Half of 10 is 5. Now remember, if I want 5 spaces, I have to draw one last line. So I have to draw 4 lines. So in each half, I'm going to cut 4 lines. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that should leave me with 5 spaces. And it does. And I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. One two, three, four. And I should have 10 across the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Perfect. And if you want to darken your horizontal lines, you're welcome to. You don't have to, depending on your paper, you might be able to see it. But I'm going to darken mine just so you guys can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here's where you're gonna want your handy dandy colored pencils. And the first colored pencil you're gonna want is going to be blue. So let's draw. I want you to color that first bar, the whole bar is going to be blue. 
And then there's going to be two that are in that second bar. So there's our blue. Let's grab our pencil again. And the question I have for you is how many pieces are blue? Well, I know one bar is 10 plus two more. So that gives me a fraction of 12 that are blue. And remember, this is part to whole. So part to all of the pieces, and this is a hundred grid. So it's going to be 12 out of 100. And remember, we said that percents are fractions out of 100. So automatically, if it's a fraction of 12 out of 100, I automatically know that the percentage is going to be 12%. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. All right, let's get our red colored pencil. All right. So I want you to finish that second column. And then we're going to color the third column the whole way to the bottom and the fourth column the whole way to the bottom. Okay, grab your pencil again. What fraction is red? Well, Two whole columns are colored red, so that's 10, 20. And if I count all these little pieces in here, I get 28 pieces are red, and it's out of the whole, so it's out of 100 pieces. Any fraction out of 100 automatically is a percentage, so this is going to be 28%. All right, last one. I want you to get your green colored pencil. And you're going to color row five, top to bottom, row six, top to bottom, row, I'm sorry, column seven, those aren't rows, those are columns, and five in column eight. So remember, we're doing a part to whole relationship. See if you can do green by yourself. Make that fraction, make that percentage. So you end up with 35 pieces that are green out of 100 that are the total. Automatically, 35%. You got it. All right, you probably have to turn your page to the back at this point. So we're gonna do the same thing, except this time we're gonna make a 50 grid instead of 100. So I'm still gonna go 10 lines down. I don't have to make a, as giant as a square as I did before because I'm only putting five rows across. So five, I'm sorry, five columns. So five columns, I need to cut it four times. One, two, three, four. And if you wanna label them, two, three, four, five for your columns. And if you wanna darken your rows, go ahead and do that. Okay first colored pencil that you're going to need is blue. Okay, so let's color in just five little squares for blue. Here's where things get a little bit tricky. So we know our fraction is going to be five and it's part to whole. There are 50 pieces here. This is a 50 grid. But the issue is, is a percent is out of 100. This fraction is not out of 100. But we could make it out of 100 really easily. 50 times 2 gives me 100. Hmm. Well, if I multiply by 2 on the bottom, I have to multiply by 2 on the top to make an equivalent fraction. 5 times 2 is 10. So automatically, 5 fiftieths is the same thing as 10 over 100. It's like the opposite of simplifying. And that'll give us 10%. All right, let's bust out that red colored pencil again. I'm going to color the bottom, so those last five in that first column, and then all of column two. Okay. So if we write our fraction, there's a whole bar there, so that's 10 plus five more. So that gives me 15, and this is a 50 grid. I need to get to a percentage. 
Same thing I did at the top. I have to figure out how to get that denominator of 100 to turn it into a percentage. So 50 times 2 would give me 100 still. 15 times 2 would be 30. So that gives me 30%. All right, last thing, let's bust out that green colored pencil for this one. And we're going to call a color all of column three and then two in column four. So I want you to try to do your fraction and then convert it into a percentage by doing that equivalent fraction. So if you count those up, you get 12 that are green out of 50 total. And you do the exact same thing that we did in the previous problems. We need to make a denominator of 100. 50 times 2 is 100. There's the giveaway. So I'm going to do 12 times 2, which gives me 24, which is 24%. You just solved your own math problem. All right, we only have two more examples to do. Can you believe it? We're almost done with this video. Okay, the next one that we're going to do is we're just going to do a 10 grid. So we're just going to draw one bar, and you're going to use your blue colored pencil, and you're going to color in seven of those little blocks in that bar. Remember, if I'm going too fast, you can slow me down in the speed in your video. You can also pause me and copy things down before you move on. So our fraction for this one is going to be seven out of 10 pieces total. There's only 10, but I need to turn to a percentage. A percent has that denominator of 100. If you need to cheat, look at the stick. There's a stick here and two circles. That number is 100. Well, what can I multiply times 100? Or I'm sorry, times 10 to make 100. Well, multiply times 10. Seven times 10 would be 70. And please remember, you are allowed to use a multiplication chart for this unit. So that gives me a percentage of 70%. Woohoo! That was easy. All right, last one. And this is the trickiest one on the whole page. We're going to do a five grid. And we're going to use our green colored pencil. And we're going to color two of those pieces. See if you can figure out the fraction and the percentage all by yourself. So our fraction would be two colored out of five total. I need to figure out what do I need to multiply times five to make that equivalent fraction to 100. Five times 20 would be 100. So I need to do that to the numerator. Two times 20 gives me 40, which is the same as 40%. We are done.